stay up now. Not much. Uh, go ahead, Jacob. Mike, I know you uh, you like to have the running backs be interchangeable, but there are, are there certain plays right now that are almost becoming Keith Harrington plays because he's so effective in those roles? Uh, a little bit, but not specifically. Uh, <clears throat> you know, right now we're pretty much splitting Harrington and uh, Wicks, you know. You mentioned uh, at yesterday's press conference that uh, you kind of saw that Goff was going to be uh, – a good quarterback, you know, right from the start. Did you kind of have your eye on him even when he was in high school? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of traffic on him. But, uh, uh, there's a lot of traffic on him. I don't know the details, but uh, he, you know, he's from out there in the rest. So. You mentioned that uh, not only is he a good passer, but he's got a good head on his shoulders. Can you see when you're watching film that he's maybe making the right decisions, the right read? Well, the biggest thing is steadily, he's, he's steadily improved throughout his career. He played early, which is helpful. And uh, took some lumps early too, but uh, you know he's steadily improved. Is is there a, a <coughs> risk? Can they either you know kind of soar or sink when a, someone plays as a true freshman? Yeah, I think so because there's you know it's a their confidence is a big deal with quarterbacks and uh, uh, but you know I thought he's <coughs> steadily improved. Coach, uh, for your true freshman Darian Moulton, uh, talk about what you've seen his improvement be since the start of camp. Uh, came to camp ready to play, very eager to play, uh, played very hard, and then his skills have steadily improved, and uh, yeah, he, and he's improving right now too. Does he show, uh, does it speak to his, his ability to, uh, on and off the field that he's been able to also transition to just college from high school in general? Uh, yeah, so far. We'll see if these grades are, but he, uh, uh, it appears that way. He's, he's a real dependable guy and real conscientious and pretty smart and all that. When you were watching high school film of Keith in the recruiting process, did he project as a wide receiver? Uh, we thought he could be one. We thought he could return stuff. Uh, we thought he could play either running back or inside receiver. At the time, we needed inside receivers more, and then so he started out there. We thought he could do either one, and it didn't surprise us when he became a running back. Were you pretty familiar with the level of competition he was playing at in Florida? Yeah, I mean, it was. I would say it's, it was medium, you know. Uh, Florida's got good football anyway, but it was medium for Florida. Mike, your uh, game was Cal last game. It wasn't the only uh, air raid versus air raid uh, matchup that has produced a pretty wild score. Have you noticed something interesting happens when, when two teams like that get together? Um, well, the, you know, I think it varies a little, but I think that uh, in general, it's, it's produced a lot of points, and they're playing each other more and more now than ever before. And I think it'll increase too. Do the, do the coaches in that family do they share your um, indifference to running up the score? Uh, it seems like a lot of people. Of course, that isn't old. That's not old. You know, uh, uh, I don't know. If, you know, yet uh, Nebraska, Oklahoma has been doing it for a long time, and the Miami Hurricanes, and certainly before that. So I don't think, but you know, there's a, a point to where you're focused on uh, <clears throat> your guys and their improvement, and that's kind of your, that's what your job is. When did you first start noticing that, that <clears throat> running up to score sensitivity? Well, I did, I've never had it, so I'm not very conscious of it. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, you spend all week you know, coaching guys to play hard, and you expect them to do it all the time. You know, or in my opinion, and there's those that share that opinion, but uh, uh, I'm not changing my opinion. I think they ought to. So. <laughs> On, on Monday, you spoke a little bit about floodgate games when a, a team isn't as good as it looks and a team isn't as bad as it looks and things just sort of uh, compound. Was last year's game kind of a, a floodgate game for both teams in some ways? Uh, no, because it never really got away from anybody. You know, it never got away from anybody. The offense has dominated the game, but it never got, you know, it was contested the whole time. I, I suppose for the defenses at least, did it, did it kind of compound for them? Did it get away from them? I guess you could say it. I've always thought of that. Uh, I've always used that term when there's an imbalance, which, you know, uh, but uh, yeah, I suppose. Okay, good.